Hey everyone, Josh here with a look at another Star Wars toy. And today we're going to unbox a Captain Rex figure from the TV show Rebels. So let's go set this guy free. Alright everyone, here we are with Captain Rex from the TV show Rebels. And we're going to unbox this figure today, but before we get that far, let's take a look at the packaging here. And as you can see, he is in the packaging for the Force Awakens figures. You can see Kylo Ren right on top of the uh, card there. And of course, Rex is not in the Force Awakens. That is just the packaging they were using at the time this figure was released. So all of the figures are in this, this style packaging. And if you're familiar with Captain Rex and the um, age he is in this figure, you know this is from the TV show Rebels. And if you are really familiar with Captain Rex, you know he is from the Clone Wars animated TV show from a few years back. And then, of course, he makes another appearance in the TV show Rebels. But on the back here, you can see they have a character description. And then you also get these extra accessories that, that came in this line of figures. And what you have is... You have to get the three figures you see on the box here, and it's Finn, Captain Rex, and Unkar Plot. And you take those three figures, and you take the bonus accessories, and you can see here in this little diagram, they're showing you that you take the three accessories, and you can assemble them together, and you make a giant, like, it looks to me like a cannon, kind of, or a tripod cannon type of device. But we're just focusing on Captain Rex here, but I'll go ahead and quickly read the character description to you guys. Captain Rex, a veteran of the Clone Wars and still a formidable warrior. Despite his age acceleration, Rex avoided Order 66 by removing the programming chip which would have turned him against the Jedi. So, in the show, they don't really explain this so much in the um, films, the movies, but Captain Rex makes reference to it in the TV show when, you're, when they first introduce him that he didn't execute Order 66 because him and his clones had, and they don't really make this clear in the movies, but I guess the clones had chips in their heads that made them do the things like follow, or execute Order 66. And Rex explains in the show when, you, when you're introduced to him that he took his chip out so he didn't turn on his Jedi. But if you know who Captain Rex is, you know his Jedi was Anakin, so he didn't really need to turn on him anyway but um let's go ahead and get him out of here so yeah in the, sh in the show that tv show rebels when they meet ahsoka ahsoka guides them to captain rex to have him join the rebellion and it's a good show if you haven't if you haven't watched rebels i i recommend it it is a good show but here we go we already lost the mega accessory here and we'll take a look at that thing in a second here but I want to look at Rex and of course you have his clone helmet and he is taped in here pretty good okay we got him loose very good okay and <laughs> so he's one interesting it's like Felt spring loaded there for a second. Okay, so as you saw in the packaging, there he had his uh, pistols in his hands. And I'm trying to see if I can get him to stay in there. And very cool. Okay, so here he is. Here is Captain Rex, up close and personal. And I already like what I'm seeing. I'm seeing what looks like working holsters. And as you could tell, it's obviously. Rex at an older age and so he's gained a little weight and he's got a, a gray beard and he doesn't fit into the rest of his armor so he kept his clone armor but one of the cooler episodes in the show is when they actually hunt down Rex and find him and get him to join the rebellion but real quick here let's run through his movements so you have head movement from up and down and all the way around and it does feel like his head is on a ball joint and then at his shoulder it looks like you're only gonna get shoulder rotation 
and you got hip articulation, but that is due to his shape and how a bit thicker he is. That's all you get in the forward and back movement. So it's not a lot. So you can't really put him in the seated position. That's about it. And then of course, if you're familiar with Captain Rex, you know he carries dual pistols and he here are his pistols. And they're pretty much identical, so let's take a look at them. There isn't a whole lot to them. There's just a little bit of detailing on the sides, and that's about it. But let's see if we can get these in and see how they fit into his hand. And they fit in there pretty good. It looks to me like his hand sculpts are pretty much the same thing. Oops. Almost identical as well, but let's see here. Yeah, they're pretty close to the same thing. I don't really see any difference in them. But uh, let's see here. It's not on the version I have here. He's not wanting to hold this thing in his, what would be his left hand. It keeps popping out on me, but it stays in there. It's just not in there really good, or you gotta kind of have it at a funny angle. And this may just be the way mine is sculpted. I'm not totally sure if every one of them is going to be like this but there you go he does hold them and they're not in there super tight but they're pre it's pretty good you can see there's a little bit of wiggle in mine so but he's holding them and let's see here how these holsters work and see if they function good and everything like that okay all right, so they just slide right in there, not really deep. But they feel like they're in there pretty f tight, pretty firm. They're not coming out, so that's cool. All right, and then also I'm, I'm noticing here, you can see they put like a little bit of mud on his boots there for a little mud detailing. So, all right, and then of course we have to look at the helmet and Rex has a very famous helmet from the Clone Wars. You can see the kill count hash marks on the helmet there. <laughs> and they're on both sides. Very cool. I guess they're from, from all the clankers he killed. So there he is with the helmet on. Looks good. It's good fit. It's on there nice and tight. It's not going to come off on you. Very good like the way that looks all right and then uh, finally what we have here is the <laughs> mega accessory that they come with and it actually kind of reminds me of something they were using on in episode three on Kashyyyk is what it kind of reminds me of is a, a Wookiee weapon but it's like a silver staff with a um what appears to be a blade on it and I got a little gold highlight down here at the bottom if we would focus on that thank you okay so let's see and then you get this projectile which looks kind of like a fireball and it's just flexible plastic and let's see here what does it do when you stick it in here Okay, it does, it's not spring-loaded or anything. It's not, usually these things will shoot out at... So it's not really a projectile as much as it's just in there. There's no spring or anything hold, uh, to shoot it. And you can see it's kind of locked into position. You really have to force it in there. So, and then let's see if how Rex interacts with this thing. And... It really looks like you're kind of forcing it into, you're going to be forcing it into his hand a little bit. Okay. Well, it's got more of a, like, thinned out part down here so he can grab onto it so you don't have to stretch the figure's hand out. But there you go. I mean, it's got a little wiggle into it, on it, but it's in his hand and it seems to be in there pretty good. But there you go. All right. And... To me, the final test, let's see, will Rex stand on his own? And he's a pretty thick, hefty figure 
with a wide base, so you shouldn't have any problem getting him to stand. And there you go. All right, everyone, there he is from the TV show Rebels. This is the older Captain Rex. And thanks for watching, everyone. I really appreciate it. I hope you're enjoying the videos. And if you are, please subscribe to the channel. We would love to have your support here. And again, thanks for watching, everyone. And we'll talk to you guys later. Bye.